G'day guys, Matt from How Heavy Duty. We're an Aussie machine shop that specializes in the drilling industry. So we make all of the crazy custom gear that drillers need to get the holes dug, and then we fix it once they inevitably destroy it. So it's like a constant game of cat and mouse in here. If you wanna get something a little bit different, pop up in your YouTube feed each week, subscribe to the channel and you can tune in and just see stuff that you're probably not gonna see anywhere else. And speaking of which, we're currently right in the middle of building our mega drill. It's a three meter drill bit that's gonna go 250 meters deep. That's 10 feet wide, 800 feet into the earth, and it's off the charts. So we've built the rods, we're tool joints, we've got the actual drill bit itself and a custom big rig that's been manufactured to be able to power this sucker. Um, I'll, at the end of the accumulation of all of this, we're gonna go out together on site and you can actually see the full setup and see how this hole gets dug. It blows the mind that it doesn't just spin the rig around on the pad. Anyway, that's enough from me, let's get into it. So this week's video is a bit of a part two from last week where we are finishing off the drive sub for this monster auger. Where we'd left off, two of the four sides had been machined and it just needed a few holes drilled in it and then we have to test fit it. So if you missed last week or you haven't checked it out yet, I'll give you the 60 second version just to bring you up to speed. Well, I'm really happy with how that's come along. All right, so that brings us up to speed with where it's at. So this is an eight inch by eight inch, 200 mil by 200 mil auger drive sub. It's got a box on one end that we cut last week. And so we're just finishing off milling out the other two flats on it. And we're going to use a 50 mil indexable drill, or we call it a U drill, to drill out the holes to 50 mil and then a shop made high speed steel tool to bring them out to exactly 70 mil. We're then going to test fit it after that and make up a pin to go inside of it and then the auger is ready to drill. And you'll see when we're drilling with the indexable drill, this is actually the first time we've used these in our big mill. So we do play around with the feeds and speeds and everything a little bit. I'm not running them overly hard just because of the setup of it. We're aiming for about 400 RPM and a feed where it chips off nicely. So let's get in and do that now. Yeah. 
we had to get a bit creative to get a 70 mil hole here. And this particular tool, we want to make sure we've got enough clearance because the first hole's only 50 mil. So we've chosen a 40 mil shank there. It's going to vibrate because of the length of it. There's nothing we can do about that. So we'll just let it cut nice and slow. It'll hum around a little bit, but it'll cut to size and then we'll polish it out later. Big shout out to the two men that worked on this. So Heath and Willie. So young Willie at 16 years old with Heath's guidance, managed to do this all himself, the milling, the drilling, the lot. He's a bloody rock star and he's gonna be a fantastic tradesman. Come down. Up. Come down. Right All right, drop it. Go again. Again, one more for good luck. It was catching on a tiny little bit of weld in the bottom right hand corner of that box. So we just basically dropped it on it, which will sort that out no problems at all. And now that we're sure it lines up, it's time to go back in the shop and make a 65 mil pin. Always want a bit of play in these things because out in the field, you don't want stuff that's too tight. So let's go and make that now. I'm going to swap inserts here from a 1.2 nose radius to a 0.4. Just when you're working on smaller shafts that tend to vibrate, the smaller the nose radius, the better it'll cut.
So to make sure the pin doesn't come out, we're just going to drill a hole and put an M12 bolt in it. There's no forces or pressure going on it, so that will be more than enough. And it's also really important that parts like this are just easily interchangeable because they will lose them out in the field for sure. And over in the fab shop, they've just finished the auger cradle, which is going to be easily moved around on site. It can be picked up by a front end loader there, you can see. And they've done a bloody good job on it. It'll go to sandblast and paint very soon. And they've been hard at work over in the boiler shop. They're cutting out all of the different stuff we need for the drill bit, centralizers, and the whole lot. So let's have a little look at what they've been up to. Finally got a minute this week to upgrade our tool cart. So we have been building all of this stuff for the big rig and I think I've now built five new big tools but they need a place to live. So the back of the tool cart's getting a few more tabs and an upgrade and then they'll all have a home and they won't just live on a trolley, which will be great. I just can't deal with a disorganized workplace. I think everything needs a home, that way you know where it is. Before becoming a machinist, I was actually working to be a boilermaker, and it's quite interesting. I love welding. I'm not that good at it, to be completely honest, so I think I'll stick to my day job, but it's a rare treat where I actually get to pick up a welder and just, there's nothing like melting steel together. It's just, it's almost as fun as smashing it apart. Radio guys, well I'm really happy with how that turned out. The giant connection fits, which is awesome. If you tune in next week, we're going to be building the last part of the drill string, which is called a saver sub. It's going to be made out of about 800 pounds of solid steel. We're going to use the trepanning bit rather than drilling it, so you get to see something a little bit different. Um, and if you're new to the channel and you want to see what we're up to each week, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, it really helps us grow. Anyway guys, I just want to say thanks a million. I'll see you in the comments and I'll see you next week.
Got it under control there, Tedster. Alright, he wants the Hulk. <laughs> 